we go. The new CB650R from Honda. This pretty much, as I can tell, is kind of the spiritual successor to the old Hornet, and I've had a few of those, so it'll be interesting to see how she rides. All right. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. God, it feels tiny. It feels teeny, teeny, tiny. Let's go this way. Nice crack. <laughs> Can't see shitting anything out of my mirrors. There we go, that's a bit better on that one. That's a bit better on that one. There we can see. Just what you want on a roundabout, fucking sand and shit. It is a, such a small bike. I like this TFT. I don't know if it's a TFT actually, but I like the dash, it's pretty clear, gear indicator, speed, yeah, it's pretty decent. So some specs about this bike, it has uh, around about 93 horsepower, uh, I think it's around about 63 newton meters of torque, and it makes that about 8,500 revs. And it seems to redline at like 12, 13,000. And it actually makes peak power at 12,000 RPM, so it's quite... But it's got a fair amount of pickup to it. I mean, that was third gear, 30 miles an hour. Third gear just... It doesn't bog down or anything. So it's a inline four engine. But the clutch is lovely, it's really light. It's that slipper clutch. So this isn't going to be an in-depth video, but because uh, it's just a little test ride. Yeah, that's better than nothing. The seat feels quite hard, so I'm not sure I'd have an issue with that on a longer journey. Suspension is, uh, it's got quite a nice uh, firm feel to it, quite a sporty feel. She goes all right. But it comes with the uh, traction control. It's got three levels, which I'm guessing is like full, a bit, and off. After riding my 500X for so long, this just feels so small. Doesn't feel like a real bike. <laughs> Feels like some little kid's toy that I've got on. You go this way, Wayborn. Yeah, let's go to Wayborn. This sounds like a jolly good idea. Actually, no idea where I'm going. I might have fucked up. It's always difficult to try and explain how you're feeling about a brand new bike that you get on because your brain's still trying to figure out how it feels about something. And I'm not quite sure yet. Please don't dump a load of diesel in front of me, Mr. Bus. I'd be most gracious of you if you did not. Not on a new bike. La la la. And around and around we go. Handles really well, very composed. No dramas. Doesn't squirm or do anything weird. could be fun though. I think there's potential. I think that's how I'm feeling about this bike, because it's got potential. Oh, I need to go right here, don't I? I keep hitting that blooming horn button. I'm going to pull it in here. Just have a little walkie around. Oh, there goes my nudges. Just park it here, shall we, in front of these lovely picturesque bollards. We're talking a load of bollards. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a lovely bike. It's really, really modern looking. But with that sort of classic, what do they call it? Neo, 
Neo Neo Cafe. I can't remember what the what the buzzword is at the moment. So it's uh, as I said, it's 93 horsepower, around about 60 odd 60 odd newton meters of torque. Um, I wouldn't say it's peaky. It definitely has has grunt, and I think that's something they've changed since the the 600F is they've given it a bit more, given it a few more torques. I think it's a pretty bike. I do think it's a pretty bike. I just, I'm just not 100% sure whether, I don't know. It's making me think, you know. So I think that's a, is that a good sign? I don't like love it straight away, oh, Porsche. But it's growing on me. That seat is flipping rock hard, I'm telling you. I think Sophie would... <laughs> she, she complains about the 500X seat. So I think this could, e could be even worse for her. Poor thing. Let's see what the dash does when you turn it on. Hopefully you can see that. Bing, bing, bing. It's got a pretty decent noise to it. The guy was saying that it's actually, um, if you want to get an exhaust, you have to get a full system because there's no like cut off. But having said that, I think it sounds pretty decent. Stock, they've certainly improved the sound of these stock bikes, haven't they? And considering uh, all the new emission laws, that's, that is an achievement in in as of itself is that is that a phrase is that a phrase i don't even know anymore i don't it's actually quite chilly today as well so i'm not i'm not like wanting to spank it because the roads are a bit cold <laughs> i just can't get over how small it feels like my 500 if you, you like sat you sat in it i think that's what it is i think i'm so used to sitting in a bike with the handlebars here this feels like I'm on it. I'm on it, mate. I'm on it. It's just a bit of an alien feeling to me at the moment, but I like the performance. I like the sound. I like the looks. I guess it's just a feeling of being on it at the moment. It feels so weird. And the suspension actually feels quite, quite soft. When you're at a standstill, she's probably thinking, who's this? weirdo talking to himself. The clutch is so light. I mean, that's so light. That's ridiculous. Right, let's... Uh... I think many smiles could be had. Many smiles per mile. Ah, now this is a trick. I can't remember which way I came. Uh, I think I came in right, didn't I? Left, even. Left, right? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's give it a little bit of a... <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. She definitely uh she definitely goes. I'm so sorry for this nonsense this nonsensical video. I wish I had my knee sliders on. I would probably try and get my knee down. Mind you that's not that's probably not a good idea, is it? Zip. It's a real light, flickable, fun little machine that I think once I get used to the size, that's what she said, <laughs> I think once I get used to the size, or once I got used to the size, I can have a lot of fun on this. But yes, hmm, I think I need to do some processing in my brain, and that's why I like recording test rides, because Kinda can go over stuff again and watch. <laughs> she goes very quickly in a forwards direction. It's not like she's gonna doesn't feel like she's gonna lift. Yeah, um Hmm. I think it's safe to say I like that. Stay tuned and uh Let's see what happens.